Hi. Welcome back. Uh, it's time for another monthly review of the Days of the Northeast project, series two. Uh, I'm a week late, uh, but you did get a shared interview with my friend Julio Marcial. If you were feeling uh, a sense of lacking of my dulcet tones in your life, um, you probably weren't. That's a bit of an exaggeration, I guess. Also, in advance, my apologies for the very rough round the edges nature of uh, this film. Um, yes, I know there's a bit of an echo in the room and I'm going to be bobbing in and out of camera shots, but it's uh, all for the good of, um, well, making the film happen uh, rather than pursuing the perfect version. Um, and that's just the way it is. I left you last, uh, on last episode, with the end of the monumental mask. And this past month, July, I spent it doing head studies. Um, I did three. Um, and the idea is a sort of... Uh, a phase of deliberate practice where I do the same thing over and over again, kind of trying to make it better, learning some lessons. It's not exactly deliberate practice because there I would focus on one, ver I guess, one very specific thing that uh, I would repeat with a kind of shorter turnaround and with more... Uh, um, well, with, with more expert feedback of some sort or another. Um, I've discussed before the difficulty for me of, of incorporating deliberate practice into what I'm doing, because in a way, um, I don't have any e expert to give me feedback. And uh, the, the pieces that I'm doing kind of take longer than is desirable, and it's not easy to break them up into smaller uh, modules, as it were, that I can perfect. But it is what it is, and this approach of just doing these heads one after another uh, has certainly generated, I think, um, some successful outcomes. So, without further ado, here we go with the first that I did. Um, as you can see, it's a head with uh, a neck, and what I'm focusing on, what I'm trying to get right, uh, are the temporal planes, the angle of the forehead, let's try and hang him. The position of the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius. This sort of um, this sort of groove that comes between your jaw and the neck muscles. Uh, details of the ear. So an enormous amount going on. The first one uh, on balance, I was very happy with. The second one uh, in trying to get this right and also in trying to position the temporal plane better kind of the head bulged out at the back. Yeah, it's not a disaster. I, I like it. But um, certain things went awry. Uh, it's perhaps hard to tell from this video. I haven't got a, a good setup for suspending, so you can kind of see them comparing and contrasting easily, and, and I'm having to hand hold. Uh, but hopefully, you get the idea. Um, the problem for me was that. 
somewhere this, this curve went wrong. And on the third piece, which um, took a bit longer, finished yesterday, I think I, I brought together the lessons learnt on the first two reasonably well. Um, somehow he ended up bigger. This, this is a, a tendency in my work. I do something and they just get larger and larger. Uh, and that's fine. Um, it's what it is. Uh, but I'm happy with a lot of, uh, a lot of the lessons learned. The positioning of the neck. Uh, trying to get this right. There's probably some lines missing. I haven't reviewed them. Uh, but that's fine. And getting the kind of curve at the top of the head, the curve at the back of the head. So that's what I've been busy with the last month. Uh, I'm calling this series of studies the Eightfold Path, a kind of nod to Buddhism. Uh, perhaps I'll talk about that in a later video. Um, but Eightfold Path because I envisage doing eight of them and, and, and let's see what happens if I do. Uh, on balance, I'm reasonably pleased. Of course, I won't be tomorrow. Um, look at them and just see problems and then the week after uh, they won't seem so bad again and I'm going to give them a break uh, I've got a sort of mini project to explore because I think uh, you can end up starting to do things by rote rather than with thought so uh, that's it let me know what you think um, once again, my, my apologies for the, the technical flaws that, are, that, that plague this film. Um, I decided it was best to just make it, share it, and move on. So, trust you well, um, your lives are filled with joy, and you're safe and healthy. And until next week, or next month, child from a from a sunny Brazil, and it is sunny outside, and um, there we are, child.